Hello and welcome to our channel. Now in this video, we're gonna tell you how the cast of CSI New York 2004 has changed. I'll show you what they looked like back then in 2004 and now in 2022 how they changed compared to when they were on this TV series. Alright, let's go! Carmen Giovinazzo in the TV series, he plays Danny Masser, a third-class detective and crime scene investigator working on Mac's team. In 2004, he was 31 years old, and now he's 49 years old. About it, you know, what kind of service would you want? Yeah. I think we need to know what each other wants in this moment. You want to hear what I want? I think golf is out there. Nobody is, you know, there's a couple movies about golf that were good. Caddyshack Tin cup. is a classic. Tin Cup. And so it's kind of, I wanted to... Just... Gary Sinise in the TV series, he played Mac Taylor a first-class detective and director of the NYPD crime lab. In 2004, he was 49 years old, and now he's 67 years old. Okay, it was a challenge. Your Uncle Max has excellent interrogation skills. He can be occupied for 40 minutes. Who, who did that? <laughs> Eddie Cahill in the TV series, he played Don Flack, an NYPD first-class murder detective who comes from a long line of law enforcement officials. In 2004, he was 26 years old, and now he's 44 years old. It's until we get the stink of death out of the carpeting. I just thought I'd ask. And the attitude's unnecessary. Crisis. Yeah. <laughs> it's so compelling, yeah. you yeah. know, on top of, and I think this show also does well to take the procedural drama as we know it and, and turn it around and take a different look. Hill Harper in the TV series, he plays Sheldon Hawks, the medical examiner of the NYC Medical Examiner's Office when the series begins. In 2004, he was 38 years old, and now he's 56 years old. Nothing in her eyes to indicate a particular hemorrhaging. Before we get the cause of death, you better see this. Me to just oh, one. Oh, I can have more. Right, I can have more. But my one, my you, you, first you, one. You cut me off. Do right, you know something I don't know? What's it, is this about to be a? Robert Joy in the TV series, he plays Sid Hammerback, the medical director of NYPD. In 2005, he was 54 years old, and now he's 71 years old. That victim was HIV positive. Hey, you administered CPR, Stella. I can't get the virus from saliva. Properly. And when they first were going to apply the makeup, they were going to put the scar tissue over this. Anna Belknap, in the TV series, she played Lindsay Monroe, third class detective. In 2005, she was 33 years old, and now she's 50 years old. Sausage, and we toasted a lot of butter from that soul food place on Bleecker, and. I want a double cheeseburger with large fries and a creamsicle float. Police officers do, and had looked to this girl who was a rape victim, had looked like disinterested and like she just... Melina Kanakaridis in the TV series, she plays Stella Bonacera, a half-Italian, half-Greek orphan. In 2004, she was 37 years old, and now she's 55 years old. Me, right? I mean, we've been waiting for over a year for those. What Adam brings to the lab is worth waiting another six months. They do ten times the work overnight. It would take us a week. It's scary, like even Kiana Karides, you look at it and you're like, oh my god, there's so many letters. But it, it literally, there are no silent letters. It, it's exactly as it's spelled. A.J. Buckley in the TV series, he played Adam Ross, a lab technician from Phoenix, Arizona. In 2005, he was 28 years old, and now he's 45 years old. Where you were, um, well, while these guys were uh, goofing around, I recovered a rust-like substance from the Vic sweater, more than likely transferred from the murder weapon. <laughs> rust. This sort of part of my career, I've been focused on playing those sort of roles that, yeah. they show that every man has to do the impossible. Um, and I don't know, and I feel like with this character, Sonny, he's kind of the cowboy of the team, and. Emmanuel Vogier in the TV series, she plays Detective Jessica Angel, an NYPD homicide detective in Season 5, Detective Don Flack's girlfriend. In 2006, she was 30 years old, and now she's 46 years old. How funny. <laughs> you know you owe me big time. Zane? <laughs> Be out creepy. 
this is what these guys look like. Look at the little babies. Oh, and you do want to throw some water on them occasionally. I mean, Vince does that. They won't grow if you don't put water on them. Sally Ward in the TV series, she plays Joe Danville, a first-rate detective, a skilled investigator, an unrivaled crime profiler, and the most recent assistant supervisor on Max's team. In 2005, she was 49 years old, and now she's 66 years old. Hello? Hello? All up and down Manhattan, down in the teens and 20s to wow. photographer's loft, so I really got to know the city. And, what neighborhood were you living in? I feel like in, I'm though? home. Back then. I lived uh, back then a little... Sonny Walker, in the TV series, she plays Jane Parson, a technician in a DNA lab. In 2004, she was 30 years old, and now she's 48 years old. So, <laughs> so who was, was curating the catalog of be, work? Between us, between ourselves, we would usually do it. But um, often it was the director who went on to direct. Thanks for watching the whole video. If you like this video, please share it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to support us in producing the next videos.